बैलेंस द केमिकल इक्वेशन बाय अल्जेब्राइक मेथड और एबीसीडी मेथड इथेनॉल प्लस सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड प्लस पोटेशियम डाइक्रोमेट इज गिव्स अस एसिटिक एसिड प्लस क्रोमियम सल्फेट प्लस पोटेशियम सल्फेट प्लस वाटर फर्स्ट थिंग वी डू इज गिव ईच कंपाउंड ए लेटर कोएफिशिएंट ये सी एच थ्री सी एच टू ओ एच प्लस बी एच टू एस ओ फोर प्लस सी के टू सी आर टू ओ सेवन इज गिव सफ डी सी एच थ्री सी ओ एच प्लस ई सी आर टू एस ओ फोर टेक एन थ्री प्लस एफ के टू एस ओ फोर प्लस जी एच टू ओ नेक्स्ट अप्लाइंग द कंसर्वेशन ऑफ मास दट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ आटम्स ऑफ ईच हेलमेट मस्ट बी सेम ऑन द बोथ सैड्स राइट आलजिब्राइक रूल्स फॉर ईच हेलमेट फॉर कार्बन ए प्लस ए इज इक्वल्स टू डी प्लस डी So 2a is equals to 2d. Therefore, a is equals to d. For hydrogen, 3a plus 2a plus a plus 2b is equals to 3d plus d plus 2g. So 6a plus 2b is equals to 4d plus 2g. Now you can divide this equation by a coefficient of 2. So 3a plus b is equals to 2d plus g. For oxygen, a plus 4b plus 7c is equals to d plus d plus 12e plus 4f plus g. So a plus 4b plus 7c is equals to 2d plus 12e plus 4f plus g. For sulfur, b is equals to 3e plus f. For potassium. 2c is equals to 2f. So c is equals to f. For chromium, 2c is equals to 2e. So c is equals to e. Now you can solve the six simultaneous equations. It looks almost impossible, but you can know that the coefficients must be integers. Let's set c is equals to one. Then from equation five, f is equals to one. From equation six, e is equals to one. Now you can apply e and f values in equation four. Then b is equals to three into one plus one. So b is equals to four. From equation one, a is equals to d. So we can take d is equals to a in equation two. Then 3a plus b is equals to 2a plus g. So 3a minus 2a is equals to g minus b. So a is equals to g minus b. Now you can apply the b value in equation seven. So a is equals to g minus four. From equation one, a is equals to d. So we can take d is equals to a in equation three. Then a plus four b plus seven c is equals to two a plus twelve e plus four f plus g. Then four b plus seven c is equals to two a minus a plus twelve e plus four f plus g. So four b plus seven c is equals to a plus twelve e plus four f plus g. Now you can apply the b, c, e, and f values in equation nine. Then four into four plus seven into one is equals to a plus twelve into one plus four into one plus g. So twenty three is equals to a plus g plus sixteen. So a plus g is equals to twenty three minus sixteen. That is equals to seven. So a is equals to seven minus g. Now you can add eight and ten equations. So two a is equal to three. So a is equal to three by two. From equation one, a is equal to d. So d is equal to three by two. Now you can apply a value in equation eight. So three by two is equals to g minus four. 
then j is equals to 3 by 2 plus 4 that is equals to 11 by 2 therefore j is equals to 11 by 2 therefore a is equal to 3 by 2 b is equal to 4 c is equal to 1 d is equal to 3 by 2 e is equal to 1 f is equal to 1 and g is equal to 11 by 2 now you can apply a b c d e f and g v values in above equation then 3 by 2 ch3 ch2oh plus 4 h2so4 plus k2 cr2o7 is gives us 3 by 2 ch3 coh plus cr2so4 taken 3 plus k2so4 plus 11 by 2 h2o in this equation 3 by 2 and 11 by 2 are rational numbers we don't use rational numbers for a chemical equation so to get whole numbers we need to multiply this equation by a coefficient of 2 Therefore, 3CH3CH2OH plus I2H2SO4 plus 2K2Cr2O7 is gives us 3CH3COH plus 2Cr2SO4 taken 3 plus 2K2SO4 plus 11H2O. The equation is now balanced. If you like this video, Please subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon.